Hello, welcome to Postcards 23. Um, I haven't done one of these for a while. I just wrote a disgusting statement in my mouth there. Anyway, my disgusting state of my mouth aside, I would uh, like to show you some postcards. Here they all are. I bought these in Winchester, so it's, it, it's just a collection. This one's rather splendid. It's easy to... There we are. Yeah, that's the best point to have it at, isn't it? This is in German, and it was painted in 1915, and it is in a museum in Essen. Hmm. And I think it says something about a tower. It does look vaguely gothic in construction. I think that's rather good. Right. Well, like we haven't got we haven't got it out, has we? Now I have a few fellows who enjoy themselves on their days off more than I do. What do you make of this? Well, before I look. Looks like a cat is looking in. There is a young lady tempting a man. And the man has got a beard. Let's look again. Oh, look. Now, this is your old friend. It's by Max Beckham, Beckman. And it's Odysseus and Calypso. Wow, Odysseus. There you are. This is rather splendid. This isn't pointillism, but it is rather splendid. Do you like that? These are the white borders and saturated with color. This is by Klimt. Normally things by Klimt have, bit, have gold in them, don't they? Well, this isn't. Moinweiss. 1907. That's in the Salzburg Gallery. It was printed in Austria. There we are. Yes, I would not have guessed that was a glimpse. And staying, staying on a roughly similar theme, do, what do you make of this? No, it isn't a white cat in a snowstorm. This is by Pizarro, Jacob Abraham Camille Pizarro. And it is the Boulevard Martre on Shrove Tuesday, 1897. And it's the Mardi Gras from the Armand Hammer Collection in Los Angeles. In other words, it's over in America, isn't it? I quite like it. I'm not going off into raptures. I referred to some of the others more, but nevertheless. Now this is very striking. Look at this. Oh wow. There's two people caught up in each other's hats. I just said that for a laugh. It may be caught up in each other's lives or or thoughts, couldn't it be? And it could be figurative. It's by Chagall, a world-famous artist. Yes, I wasn't a million miles out. This is an oil on canvas, which is in Israel. It's in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. And it's called The Lovers with Flowers. It looks to me like they are nodding off, either in silent reverie Or bored out of their skulls. I still think it's rather nice. And one reason I like it is I don't know it. I know the name Chagall, but no more. There we are. This is far more orthodox than most of the others, if not all of the others. Here we have an archangel.
whose face is not obscured, of course, by a halo. This is the, the Annunciation. And this is the museum in San Marco, printed in Italy. There we are. I really love this one, this next one. Goodbye perspective and hello, enjoying yourself. Ramshackle houses, ramshackle life. So in a way it doesn't have the perspective. Leads us into the picture, only to discover that the stairs are it isn't like Escher, it's not like this delivery throws us out of kilter. But the artist obviously felt more than he actually saw. There we are. And I, for once, I'm holding it still. So we have a, a long flight of stairs, steps, houses, a road the other side, a couple of shops, a tent, some tents. A tower, and then I think in the distance, I was going to say it's the sea, but I don't think it is the sea now. It could be marshlands or even gardens. I'll show you once more because it's worth taking a, a careful look. This is by Glyn Thomas, and it's called the Old Burr Steps. And it was done in 1998. And it's a copper plate etching from the Orwell Press. Well, the Orwell Press, might I say. Very nice. Very nice. And Glyn Thomas, I hope that I see others, examples of your work one day. Here's a lovely modest one. There's much that. Les Jardins de Toulouse. And again, it's by Pizarro. He worked first with Corot and later with Monet and Cezanne. Must be worse people to work with than world famous artists. You know, how do you get on with Cezanne? <laughs> what does he know about perspective and all that? Sort of... Anyway, here we are the, gar the Tuileries Gardens, which are in Paris, aren't they? This picture was painted in 1899 and it is a Medici. I like Adam Ralph's joke that you, the French roll up the grass every night in their parks and then put it out again in the morning. Yes, the fine detail is not going to come out no matter how I move around. But it is rather good, isn't it? I think it's good, jolly good. There we are. I rather like this one because of the though it's not Venetian, it is Venetian, it is not by Canavetto. This is from the, the uh, Museum Santa Maria, Santa Lucia e Santa Maria. In Nazareth. I thought it was a Venice. Hmm. Well, maybe it is. No, it isn't. Well, M Madrid couldn't be further away from, I suppose it could be a river. I was going to say Madrid couldn't be further away from the coast if it tried. <laughs> that is correct. Anyway, there we are. got this because as a child I was interested in castles and things and uh, it's some cannons. Cannon, which is a plural word, isn't it? This is Bamba Castle Ramparts. Berwick on Tweed Museum. Which is one of the last places I think in England before we go over the borders to Scotland. 
I could be wrong, but what I'm not wrong about is this is very fine. Interesting colour. The cannon are silent. Here's something that looks French. I got all these cards in in Oxfam in Winchester. So if you like cards, and I hope that you do, then this is again the third one that I'm showing you quite by chance by Pizarro. Camille Pizarro. 1830 to 1903. Le Charmin Mont. L'Hermitage. And this is in the Brooklyn Museum. In other words, it's in America. But this was published by the Arts Council a little over 40 years ago in conjunction with an exhibition that they were uh, holding. Yes, I like that. You can see the little gap in the trees and some houses, possibly a little village, or more, there. And a path or a road even here. And lots of foliage and trees. Yes, really like that. Now here, here's something I, I like because it's unusual design as you can see possibly not see that well this is this is this is a french garden jardin de france aromatique dans mas provençal i know i can't speak french but never mind i'm down making an attempt um so it's a herb garden Well, there's a hive garden near where I live, but I never trust going in there. I should think there's a flint wall at the back. Yeah, very unusual. Here we have something incredibly dated. Can you tell what it is yet? It's Carnarvon Castle, and that blue dot is to indicate probably that I'm too near. If I get too far away, just there we are. It's Carnarvon Castle from an 18th century watercolor by William Pars, and this is in the Victoria and Albert Museum, the original. And he's thrown the emphasis on the. Um, nearest the painter and the foreground is uh, it's delineated as much by um, shadow as by and perspective I'm sure correctly addressed but it's the guys in the boats and this bloke presumably who's directing them saying get out don't come back so this is Welsh it's a 1974 card. And it's published by Larkfield. Well, Larkfield. I think anyone would be proud to have this in their collection, as I now do. I really rate that. I think that's very nice. I have been to Carnarvon Castle, but it was, it was, it was just after the investiture, in fact, of Prince Charles in 1969. Now, what do you think this is? Potpourri? Maybe it's Oriental. What do you think? Oriental? There's no reason on earth why I should think that it's Oriental. Does it look better that way? Or well, that way? I'm just being flippant. This is the base of a water pipe. Well, or even the base of a well. I'm sure you'd instantly know it's the base of a water pipe. 
It's from the Ashmolean, so it's from Oxford. It's a base of a water pipe with floral decoration. And it is, wow, it's nearly 500 years old. And his fritware. Um, with polychrome under glaze painting. And it's been privately presented to the museum. That's originally from Iran, Old Star Persia. They would have been Persia then, I suppose. Would have well, I find that, I was gonna say perplexing. That's too, that's too long a word. Surprising. It is pleasing though, isn't it? There we are. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was a blind tasting. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Postcards 23. I'm James Pratt. Good evening. Hmm.